Hi, everybody. I was so excited to get started with Unity with you all, um, and then it was uh, <laughs> canceled, um, so to speak, um, by the coronavirus situation. Um, so here we find ourselves um, in a decidedly more virtual environment <laughs> um, for our virtual reality class. And um, if you would like to continue learning Unity, uh, I'm going to make some tutorials on how to do it. And you can optionally make your final project um, using this software. Even if you don't have a VR headset at home, you'll be able to simulate what the view would be like um, and at least sort of test this out. Um, so uh, so it, it's definitely a thing we can continue with so long as you can install Unity on a computer you have access to at home. Um, and uh, so the way you would do that is you go to unity.com and then click Get Started. And um, Unity for individual is free. They by default send you to the business version, but you're gonna do individual. Um, and you can either do student um, and sign up or personal and get started. Um, if you do student, I think that they make you um, prove it. I guess you must join the GitHub um, student developer pack to be verified. So check it out you know, um, and see if it's, uh, if it's easy. Um, cause you do get access to tutorials that you might not otherwise get, um, as a verified student, but even if it's, uh, complicated and you just want to get started now, um, the personal edition is also free. Um, so when you click that, uh, you can do get started there and, um, we're going to, uh, download the standard Unity installer. So we can skip the first time user thing um, because I'm gonna try to help you through that. But if you, um, if you wanna follow their tutorials to learn to make some games and stuff, um, you totally should because it's a great way uh, of learning more than just what we'll be learning in this class. Um, so anyway, you're gonna click go here and we're going to download um, Unity Hub. Okay, so this button, Download Unity Hub, um, is, is going to bring uh, this software to your computer and install it. And then you'll need to, um, to choose a license. And to do that, um, I think you do activate new license and then choose personal. Um, and it makes you verify that you're uh, not using this for commercial commercial purposes and you agree to all that and then you're good to go um, so once we do that we get out of preferences by hitting the back button here you will then have to go down to the installs um, section and yours probably won't have any installs at first uh, it shouldn't you're going to click add and choose the latest official release um, which is chosen by default. You'll hit next, and then you're asked to choose modules. Um, and what this means is uh, what operating systems are you trying to author software for? Um, so for us, we're probably creating for Windows and Mac, or maybe just Windows or maybe just Mac, depending on um, your choice. I'll be able to deal with either um, if you uh, if you are outputting that kind of stuff. Also, you can use Unity to build for iOS, like for an iPhone or for Android. Um, and if you're building for Oculus Go, um, that also would be an Android build. Um, so anyway, install whichever of these are appropriate for what you intend to do with your Unity project. Um, if you really just want to do a first time thing um, and not even end up creating a standalone piece of software with it, just for your first first go out, you don't have to worry about installing um, any extra ones. 
um, you'll hit done and then it will install um, a version of Unity Editor for you. Then you'll go to Projects and um, we're going to make a new project. And we're going to start um, every VR project as a 3D template. Um, you're going to give it a descriptive name, like I'm going to say VR class tutorial, and you're going to put it in a place um, that you have control over and you won't forget where it is because we're going to need to get to this folder sometimes. Um, so I'm going to click these kind of breadcrumbs and put it in, for me, my documents and Unity projects, and then um, it's going to be called VR class tutorial. Um, cause I just want, uh, so the way unity works is it makes a folder named the project name. So I just want to select unity projects and then it'll make its own folder inside here. So I hit select folder and, um, it looks awfully similar on a Mac, but if you ever get confused, I'm doing these tutorials on my PC at home. So that's why it looks slightly different but I think you should be able to, to make the adjustment. Um, we hit uh, create, boom, and then um, Unity fires up uh, our new project and it makes its own folder for it right here, um, VR class tutorial inside my Unity projects folder. So that's the um, quick tutorial on starting uh, out with Unity by downloading it, installing Unity Hub, and um, creating and opening your first Unity project.